Good morning and welcome to Missoula Real Estate Today. This is Denny Bedard. Missoula Real Estate Today is presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Diane's been working with buyers and sellers in the Missoula market for over 25 years. Along with her trusted partners, Diane provides complete service for your real estate transaction and brings us guests who provide useful information on industry-related topics and trends. And now, Missoula Real Estate Today on News Talk KGVO. Hope you are enjoying this first weekend in May, and thank you for joining Missoula Real Estate today. An old friend of the show, she hasn't been on in quite a while. She came all the way upstairs. It was a, a tremendous, challenging commute for uh, Drew Mahelish, owner and lighting consultant at Western Montana Lighting. I'm glad you could come back. Yep, I'm happy to be here. Well, thanks for uh, stopping by. Might as well do a refresher, <laughs> Drew, on the background because it has been quite a while since you've been here. How you came to be the owner of Western Montana Lighting? Yeah, of course. So I actually moved back to Montana in about 2010 and had the opportunity in 2015 to purchase Western Montana Lighting. Um, went to school for interior design and design management. And so this was kind of always a dream and it just kind of fell yeah. into my lap and it was um, an opportunity that I seized in 2015. Can you believe it's been eight years it's now? It's been a long time. It's wow. like you blink and it's over. <laughs> Little history of the business. So speaking of number of years, uh, Western Montana Lighting is a uh, is a long time Missoula business. Yes, it's been around for over a hundred years. So hmm. it was established in 1917. Can you believe that? No. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So man. it's been around for a long time. A staple here with uh, the contractors and. Um, designers and all of that. And a couple of different locations now, and I mentioned Drew just had to walk upstairs. <laughs> We're the upper level of Western Montana Lighting in the 3200 block of South Reserve, but obviously Western Montana Lighting has been in a couple other places over those, uh, what, 106 years, whatever that is. Yeah, so Western Montana Lighting moved out before my time um, to Reserve Street, yeah. but, but I think about 20 years ago. Right. Um, prior to that, they were on um, Higgins Street and also on Front Street. Um, so I think about two or three different locations downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Not to get too sidetracked here, but you might not know this story. Um, our radio stations were in a downtown facility that we had just outgrown. And so my manager at the time negotiated uh, renting um, this uh, a building out on South Reserve. And the, the, the builder, landlord, whatever you want to call them, said, okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'll do a 10,000 square foot building. Yep. You guys can have 7,500 square feet of it because I'm sure – that some retail business would like the other 2,500 square feet. And my boss said, great. Go for it. Yeah. B back comes the developer and says, you know what? Western Montana Lighting would like the entire. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> would like the entire square footage. So let's say I put a, a, another level yeah. on the building. With something in between, I guess, you know, your your storage or where we're kind of yeah. really on. We say the second floor, but we're kind of on the third floor because uh, <laughs> you've got warehousing. And, Upstairs, and, yeah. Right, right. Yep. But, uh, I, didn't, I didn't know that, actually. Yeah, so you thank go. you for that yeah, little and, and you're right on the 20-year mark. It's, it's been about that. But that's how uh, that's how Western Montana Lighting Building became more than, uh, more than one level. Well, I like <laughs> that we're neighbors, so there. I do, too. It's great. Uh, since we are on uh, Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate Show, um, your relationship with her and Windermere Real Estate, how, how you interact, um, well, with the real estate and industry in general. Yeah, well, Diane's amazing. She's been a huge advocate for Western Montana Lighting since day one for me. Um, so uh, kudos to her. Um, and real estate agents in ge general, realtors, yeah. they I call them my outside sales team. Uh, it's interesting, but when they're either selling a house or doing um, remodels, uh, like a new um, yes. purchaser comes in and they, they're always sending them my direction. So I am very, very grateful for the relationship that we've developed with the realtors in town. It's a uh, pretty big old outside sales team. Yeah, isn't it? it's a big one. <laughs> Lots of realtors helping out uh, Western Montana Lighting and Drew Mahelish. And um, a radio tour of the showroom, Drew, I describe what customers can expect to see when they when they come into Western Montana Lighting. Yeah, so Western Montana Lighting is a very interactive showroom. So I call it, a, it's a museum of lights. So there's yeah. chandeliers, there's vanity lights, um, there's outside lighting, um, there's lighted mirrors now. Um, so you can walk in the showroom and then you can actually use all the different buttons that are on the wall. 
that can change the lights on and off on the wall. And that just gives people a different perspective of what the lights look like on and off because they can look very different. Um, And then we also have fixtures that you can actually use on a pull chain now from um, the ceiling so that you can see what chandeliers look like on and off because there's been lots of changes in the lighting industry with different glasses being used and they render very differently if the light is on or off and so it can be a wow factor when someone turns on a light that looks very simple and all of a sudden they see cloudy glass and it just is a showstopper for them. A wow factor for me, I don't know how long you have had this, but I I come in really, really early on Saturday mornings to do our hunting and fishing program. And just a couple weeks ago, I'm driving down reserve to make my left turn here onto Dixon. And I had never, ever noticed that the big Western Montana lighting lettering out on the front of the building is changing. Yay! (laughs) I'm so happy you noticed that. You got you a color wheel. I did that three years ago. (laughs) And you can change it based on, I have it going on a oscillating thing of different colors uh, (laughs) right now, but I like change it for Christmas. It will be green and red. Uh Uh-huh. So just different things like that. Yes. Yeah. Well, it took me three years, but I finally (laughs) noticed it. (laughs) Perfect. Thank you. Glad I made you happy there. Yeah. (laughs) Missoula Real Estate Today presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate here on Newstalk KGVO. My guest, Drew Mahelish, owner of Western Montana Lighting on the South Reserve here in Missoula. Uh, Drew, what what, uh, what areas of the business have you uh, expanded or changed to meet some of your customer demands? You know, that's an interesting ask. Um, I would say this sounds super basic, but our customer service level has been extremely heightened during COVID yeah. and then after. <laughs> so we we kind of set a bar and it just kept, we just kept climbing it. And um, now we are... I would say one of the most customer oriented um, small businesses in Missoula. Um, It makes me really proud. So that is something that we've done some adjustments to. Um, We still do all the same things that we've done forever. We do walkthroughs on job sites with um, homeowners and with builders or electricians, Ah. whoever brings us on to the project, um, designers included in that. and we offer lighting consultation, meaning that we'll do full layouts of recessed lighting and decorative lighting for an entire home or for a remodel, um, whatever it may be. Excellent. Uh, some of the brands na- uh, brand names, excuse me, that you carry, I'm sure you're proud of those as well, uh, and, and why you, you like to carry the, the, the brands that you do. Yeah, so the biggest thing, the reason why we carry the brands that we do is we have um, control with those vendors on quality. So that's a huge uh, selling point for us. And uh, some of the name brands that we work with are, uh, you know, we have a little bit of everything Mm -hmm. for, um, you know, the starter home, uh, mid-range, all the way to, uh, you know, high-end custom homes. So within that, there's still quality across the board. Um, Hubberton Forge is a great vendor that we do a lot of business with that's very customizable. Um, You know, everything is a unique piece from them. Um, No one piece is the same because it's all handmade. Uh, Then you've got um, different companies like Quizelle, Kishler, that we do a lot of business with. And we, they tend to have both options where they have more mid range pricing, but they also have builder grades so that we can get them more affordable into, you know, let's say like apartment complexes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's obviously you carry brands like that because they, they live up to your standards, but do, do customers come in with a specific uh, brand names that they're looking for uh for this? Yeah, I would say would it's I like... Would I be surprised by the number of people that do that? I think so, actually, because um, we, we get excited when people are like, oh, I want to, you know, have Hubbardton Forge or Kishler or yes, Quizelle. Like or, you know, you're like, oh, wow, you know that. Um, <laughs> but I think that's just because the internet has started to educate. People are coming in already having a background of looking at um, hmm. items, you know, before they're entering our store to get our expertise. So, yeah, there is a lot more of that um, right. brand awareness, I guess you'd call it. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate on News Talk KGVO. My guest, Drew Mahelish, owner and lighting consultant at Western Montana Lighting. You touched on this a little bit because it's, it is so much about uh, customer service and, and being a consultant. But people come in looking for ideas. They're, they're relying on you for some great suggestions. That process, Drew, the common questions, what, what you really need to know before you can... Uh, Help them. I suppose that includes the the, the room, the functions, the decor, everything. Yeah. Um, So it really depends on the scale of the project. Um, So we're always trying to validate the customer and figure out what 
what their needs are, right? So if it's a simple remodel for a powder room in their home, we can help them. If it's a remodel of the entire house, we can help them. If it's an addition to the house, we can help them. If it's a full brand new house that hasn't even, you know, the foundation hasn't been poured, we can help them. So we can do a lot of different things. And that's why, like you mentioned, we do have to ask a lot of questions up front to figure out the best way to serve the client. Uh, other products you offer, lighting, obviously, we've been talking about that a little bit. What are some other pro- products that, that customers are really kind of, you know, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So I always forget to say this, but then my girlfriend always tells me, uh, one of my best friends, she's like, oh, I always forget you guys have fans. And so we have fans. Yeah. We have artwork, actually, a lot of beautiful artwork, um, very one-of-a-kind um, furniture pieces, um, both locally sourced mm. and indus- um, industry sourced. Um, we also have recess lighting and under cabinet lighting that I think a lot of people forget that we can do the whole, um, nine yards and then, um, yeah, custom artwork. Yeah. How, um, how do you merchandise artwork? I mean, you're a big store, but you're obviously not an art gallery. Uh, I'm sure you can put a lot of pieces up, but what, uh, what, what goes into the decision-making process as to, to what you, you feel you want to carry? Yeah, so we vignette a lot of things. So we make lifestyle vignettes, and I think that's extremely helpful. Plus, a lot of my staff have backgrounds in interior design. And so what we're able to do is actually merchandise the showroom and and have almost a bit of a homey vibe Uh rather than just like ceiling lights, wall lights. You know, there's an aesthetic um, appeal to it. Yeah. So do you do a lot of art auctioning, uh, art shopping, or what? or, or do you delegate that to someone else because you've got enough to do as it is? Well, so it's inclusive in my industry. So when yeah. I go to Dallas uh, twice a year for buying opportunities, I, I meet with multiple vendors. So I meet with art um, dealers and vendors. I meet with lighting um, vendors. Um, I meet with furniture vendors. I meet with rug vendors. Um, so there's a lot of that all encompassed in a very long a uh, grueling week of work, but it's also exciting. <laughs> what uh, and you mentioned your designer background. What what is it like for you as a designer? It's it's got to be, you know, it's got to be really fun and, and rewarding to to dive into to projects and and get to show your uh, artistic side. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. That's my favorite part of the job, actually. Um, but I I would also say I have such a talented staff at this point too. I. I love seeing what they're doing too. So it's like I'm getting my fill from uh, my projects, but then I also get like even more from seeing what my other staff is doing. And yeah. th- we're just doing an amazing job yeah. across the board. And so le- learning and playing off each other. Yeah. A little bit there. Yeah. Like you did that here. I'm going to do this here. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so you just, I think creative people like to work typically in team environments because it, you might have a concept that's not going to work in a certain application, but it will work for someone else's job. And so that's a lot of fun. Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. My guest, Drew Mahelish, owner and lighting consultant at Western Montana Lighting. And uh, thank you to uh, some of Diane's marketing partners that help bring you the program every weekend here on KGVO. Uh, Rob Fleming at Man Mortgage and Miles Link with Opportunity Bank of Montana. Back to Drew Mahelish. Um, other changes, Drew, in customer interest you're seeing. What are the, what are the wow factors that, that people are, you know, they're, they're coming in uh, looking for trends maybe? I, I don't know, but um, uh, you've, you've got to stay on top of that and be ready for it, right? Yeah, and obviously you've noticed that in the last few years we've had an influx of a lot of people moving to Montana. I've heard and, about that, yeah. And yeah. I love it. Because to me, um, you know, you get a you get a mixed bag. Oh, for so sure. we're it, it creates a challenge, but it's a fun challenge for us. So we now um, we were actually selling a lot more contemporary lighting, which might sound strange, but I think people in Montana were doing that right. And so then we've got an influx of people that have never lived in Montana. And they're wanting to actually have more rustic or mountain homes. So the styles, I have to be eclectic in what I showcase downstairs, right? Because it needs to accommodate the needs of people that have been in Montana their whole life, as well as people that are moving here from back east or, you know, say the west coast or down south.
Yeah. I'll bet you're, you are proud of this. It, it's the kind of store that, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of your customers come in with a specific need, but you've got enough down there for, for browsing, you know, Hey, oh, can, yeah. hey can I help you? <laughs> I just, just kind of wanted to look, you know? Just... Yeah. It's the museum. Yeah. <laughs> it gives concept and then they can find a state statement piece that they find downstairs and, and we can build the whole home yeah. around that specific oh, wow. piece. Right. Awesome. Yep. Um, well, uh, besides homeowners, your customers are, they're builders, um, architects, construction folks. Um, how do those relationships shape your business? You, you mentioned uh, what, what an asset it is to be um, aligned with realtors, but, but how do those professions uh, help shape your business? They're our backbone. So those are the strongest leads that we get is coming from contractors, designers, electricians. And it's, it's interesting because we talk about that a lot with my team is they're really an extension of our team um, in the sense that, you know, we, I joke that realtors are our outside sales team and, and they really are. But what we do, we're collaborating throughout the entirety of a project with the designer, with the electrician, with yeah. the builder. And so without those relationships, um, I, I don't think Western Montana Lighting would be nearly as successful as it is. It is truly all about relationships. Do you feel you got a pretty pretty strong network? Uh, that, and that didn't, you know, like you say, you've owned the store for eight years now. It didn't just happen overnight, but uh, presumably uh, with the da- da- dazzling personality you have, Drew. <laughs> oh, that, thank you. Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, that that it, uh, it you have worked really, really hard to to build and and establish those relationships and i imagine some of them are, are pretty good buddies over the years it is fun because when you do get to work with friends you get to crack jokes and do the you know <laughs> so it you got to make it fun and and so we do definitely have that and one of the biggest things is i came into a business that already had really wonderful relationships established sure. and so we've just built on that so we have those and we maintain those and then we are continuing to see growth and change and more people coming in um new businesses popping up left and right and so we we're going out and uh, introducing ourselves to those people as well missoula real estate today presented by diane beck of windermere real estate here on news talk kgvo my guest this weekend drew mahelish owner of western montana lighting now um you've you've had to evolve your um your online ordering system i know you love to see lots and lots of customers but you've also had to um fine-tune that over the last few years if not longer how has that gone it has been challenging at times (laughs) um getting the data correct and all that has been a, a a work in progress, but we're, we're making some lead way these days. Right. Um, but yeah, we had to do that to accommodate the people that were busy and didn't have the opportunity to schedule an appointment or consultation with us. And they want to buy maybe one or two lights. Um, so they can now do that and they can purchase online on our online um, yeah. store. And I know when we talked a, a couple of years ago, you, you anticipated in encountering this, the, <laughs> the, the, the perception of, well, Western Montana Lighting's prices online, that, that, that's, uh, I, I think I'll look somewhere else. Your online pricing, just, just how competitive you have, have become with that is pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the industry standard. So across the board, you actually are supposed to price. I mean, that's how lighting works. We, we have yeah. kind of, you know, like Apple, there's an industry standard. So we, we actually match that price. And then the thing is, is when people are actually working with us with a designer or a builder, um, they're getting contractor pricing. And so contractor pricing is we're definitely beating online pricing at that point. And we always match if, if say, an online e-tailer is doing a discounted for Memorial Weekend that's coming up, say, we, right. we match those prices. We have no problem doing that. My favorite question, I ask everybody this, and feel free to use as many examples as you want. I think we, uh, yeah, we're doing just fine for time. <laughs> as you know, I always like to ask about success stories. Uh, anything you want to talk about as far as jobs you've done recently or, or not so recently that you have found especially rewarding at Western Montana Lighting? So during COVID, well, I guess it was at the tail end of COVID, um, if that exists. But so yeah. uh, spring of last year, We had a customer that came in, very high-end horse sale barn that needed to be done. I did the walkthrough. Um, Clients were extremely friendly. And then at the end of the walkthrough, they turned around and said, oh, and by the way, this needs to be done in two weeks. Um, To give you perspective, it was about the same size as this building. 
Okay. Um, that's, that's big. And so it was pretty large, and it was a lot that needed to be done because there was layered lighting. There was different stalls. Um, and I looked at the electrician, and I just took a deep breath, and he said, we got this. <laughs> and sure enough, we did. We drop shipped everything to Helena. He got everything installed, and they had everything up and going uh, I think 12 hours before the first sale actually took place. So that was a huge success because we hit the deadline, even though the deadline was very short. Um, and it was also like a beautiful space that was built out. So yeah. um, it just all came together. And that was exciting and very rewarding. Were you a little surprised that uh, somebody needed that specific a lighting for a horse <laughs> sale? barn you're yeah. you're probably thinking okay i got a couple lanterns here <laughs> yeah yeah wow well i grew I up guess, yeah uh, i grew up with my mom's a big cowgirl and a horse woman so i do know that i mean these horses are worth exactly. a pretty penny yeah yes yeah they gotta look good yes they gotta look good in the lighting any others that come to mind man i'm just trying to think i'm sure my team has a bazillion yeah um yeah that's the one I can kind of come yeah. up with right now, top yeah. of mind. Well, you can bring team members. Uh, oh, and then you. we got a, a speakeasy we recently did in Helena um, that turned out um, pretty well. It Velvet Walls I actually worked on that project as the designer and the lighting consultant. Um, so it's adjacent to the windbag, and it's just a fun, cute awesome. little speakeasy. <laughs> Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate here on Newstock KGVO. My guest, Drew Mahelish, uh, owner and lighting consultant at Western Montana Lighting. Did uh, Any other topics you want to make sure we cover, uh, Drew? I'm, I probably missed a thing here and there. Anything come to mind uh, in the final few minutes here before we wrap things up? I think just the biggest thing that I want to hit on is that Western Montana Lighting is very adamant about, and, and we would just pride ourselves in making sure that our customers are satisfied um, from start to finish. So they walk in, they get to meet Mally, my puppy. Usually she's the greeter at the store. And then they work with one of my talented staff members or myself. And by the end of it, when they get to sit down with their cup of coffee and look up at all the new lighting that they have in their home, I want them to just smile and just be happy. Um, so that's the biggest thing that we pride ourselves on at the store is our customer service and our follow through. Does Mally charm the socks off of everybody too, just like you're? I would say almost everybody. I think 99.9. .9. People that don't okay. like dogs, she just goes in the <laughs> office. <laughs> Drew Mahelish, owner of Western Montana Lighting on Missoula Real Estate today. Uh, location, hours, contact information. Let's uh, make sure we get all of that in there before you go there, Drew. Yep. So we're at 3250 South Reserve Street, across the street from Larchmont Golf Course, up downstairs from Town Square Media. There you go. And <laughs> our hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30 p.m., um, otherwise call for an appointment mm. and we can accommodate those as well. And contact information, our phone number is 406-543-7166, or you can also email info at wmldesigns.com. How about the website? What, uh, what can people expect to see on, uh, on the website? Have you gotten pretty elaborate with that? Well, so our website does showcase all of the lighting products that we offer. Nice. Um, it doesn't uh, doesn't show you everything that we necessarily have in our store because we sponsor a lot of local artists. Um, so those aren't necessarily showcased on our website. Um, but yeah, you can see, you could Google Western Montana Lighting. You're going to be able to see the products. You're also going to be see, see the time uh, operation hours, um, phone number, yeah. contact information, the whole nine yards. Well, I can't believe we work upstairs, downstairs from each other, and yet never, ever uh, see each other. So <laughs> I'm, I'm glad we you're... saw each other at bingo. We saw each other. That was the last time I that, that was the last time I saw Drew. I was calling bingo at the Seroptimus Bingo Tent at the Western Montana Fair, and uh, Drew was way, way on the other. There was a lot of people playing bingo, yep. but I did see Drew out there playing some uh, some bingo cards. Drew Mahelish, the owner of Western Montana Lighting, this week's guest on Missoula Real Estate Today, brought to you by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. It was nice seeing you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Denny. Thank you for listening to Missoula Real Estate Today, presented by Diane Beck of Windermere Real Estate. Email dianebeck at windermere.com or... For a complete directory of Diane's listings, visit move2missoula.com. 
That's move, the number two, Missoula.com. We'll see you next time on Missoula Real Estate Today.